so welcome back I have been trying uh, to play around and uh, add office 365 to a user that we gave license uh, it's not working so we s I've noticed this directory sync loss sync 34 minutes ago my server is up you can see there so it should it will do automatically but once I was in here I saw password sync enable false uh, we're gonna try to make this true because when I go here and go to office and sign in uh, if uh, let's go oh. if you see I was able to sign in with this account but I cannot sign in with any with any user that's my uh, local uh, I, uh, active directory user what I'm thinking is what happened is that once uh, the Azure ready connect ran it synced the password uh, sorry synced the username but never the password so I'm gonna poke around a little bit more in this one okay privacy view current configuration I think it's disabled this need synchronization option this could be it let's give the password oh I think that is a different one I think let me make sure here like uh, yeah let me make sure yeah. So yeah, it looked like that was the one that um, Active Directory. I think this one is the one. Password has interest and password right back let's see what is it ah okay okay so we need this one For this, I'm going to create another video. Password has synchronization. Let's go ahead and do that. So my assumption was uh, pretty good. I actually did uh, two trial and error videos, but since this program takes forever, I did not uh, make them mainly because I'm I have a very bad cough and I don't feel like editing the video so I just this one <laughs> I just want to make the video and be done with it so it's configuring I think I should close this browser out right good so uh, I'm actually very glad whatever I thought was the issue it was and honest to God I did not search it, it I was just thinking why it's not working so I was like uh, I saw this and I said maybe it's just the username there not the password all right so hopefully please work please work make me proud 
Passline H at And it worked. Yes. Oh yes. Oh. I am excited and I'm happy I'm glad. Uh so actually I do have a mind for uh all this stuff. We can save it. <coughs> Alright. So now uh we can get more done and they're gonna give you anywhere dot com we're done so s notice one different that it says that you can install the office so it's not a web version of office you actually get to install the uh, software and then notice the other thing is that there is no admin center here normally there was an admin center right about here if we see all apps we can scroll now we have everything except <coughs> admin center um, you have to excuse me with my coughing all right so this is good to know let's get back to the uh, previous page and install office office 365 apps other install option it will include these or other install options are there so I'm gonna go with this one it's giving you option uh, uh, click run say yes stay online and all that <coughs> oh god all right so basically it's thinking that uh, we are running edge we are not so th there is the setup I always go sh and run it run now the fun part Aslan is not an admin for this uh, software installation he cannot basically so basically he will go click no and then he has to contact the admins and they will go or send somebody to install it for him let's suppose he did all that and a help person reached out and I say okay I'm gonna install it for you now the solution begins let's uh, minimize everything so you have a clear view of what's going on so unfortunately when I was uh, doing trial and error for on this machine I had installed office 365 but that was from the the home thing and all that so I want to uninstall and reinstall it on over here because so I get all the business softwares so control panel I'm just giving a uh, what's happens over here see it says Microsoft Office 365 So let's see one more thing. Normally, like uh, I think the first office I ever used was either 97, 98, or two. I know 2000 for sure. I did with that with the XP. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I think it was 2000 that I used the first one, and then the the one came with the XP. I used that as well. Uh, but never mind. That I want to see that. This is saying Office 365. And over here, I want to see what exactly is in there. Oh, uh, if you saw over there, it said Office 365. And I am logged in with the my uh, domain. And I installed it before buying that domain and adding it to my uh, portal I had the preview I got the office 365 preview for the uh, home user so still I don't see Yammer in here right I'm gonna uninstall it
so on one virtual machine it's downloading and adding the other one is being uninstalled let's see the performance what's going on with the performance tab here memory is being used 82 percent disk use it i love this uh, m.2 disk they are brilliant cpu is great so this CPU will last me at least three years. Even GPU is uh, up, okay. Done uninstalling, it says we removed it. It's not required right away, but since we have nothing better to do right at the moment, let's restart it. Had it had been a hard disk, and I was using all this thing, all this virtual machine, imagine how slow it would have been. So if, if you want to set up a home lab, uh, I will say delay it a month or two if you, uh, if you have financial troubles, but go with M.2. They are far more faster than a single SSD. And you can see that it's done. You're all set, Office is installed now. Click Start to view your apps. Close. So where is the start? Normal, I think there was an, uh, something blinking here. Let's go. You see Word, PowerPoint, Outlook. Access is new. Excel. OneDrive, Outlook. PowerPoint publisher Skype for business I use it all the time at work <laughs> word and where is the Yammer so Yammer I think you have to go on the uh, where it was giving you the option to install the um, Uh, other add-ons I think that was it except and you see username at domain.com let's see aslanh at ihamid.org let's give it the password allow me to manage my device yes So you see, you read the message. It was says allow us to um, configure and apply the policy. So whatever the policy admins or admin will set on the Office 365 portal will be automatically applied to this device. So now I'm signing. Go to start Skype for business. Oh, there was a, uh, there was a message. Go to Teams right there. So this is the business. You can add all your contacts in here. This is your, and then there's a Teams too. So you so you can see this is installed. Oh, we have to get the Windows apps. Uh, it's not installed yet. So you see, Asnan is here. We can set. He can set himself to go online and all that. Like. Uh, away <coughs> set your location and it says away I don't know why <laughs> but anyway you get the idea right so it's working you see subscribe for business now if I go and open this is recently added I'm gonna open Excel see oh it did not show you it was too fast so if we go to account you see this is office 365 business so I was thinking maybe it's office 
16 or 19 something like that uh, but no it's it's a separate standalone product so it's version 1910 it one one drive sites I need to change this name charters I need to put my name it will throw people off so so these are all the device product contains right here and there are many more that we have not downloaded and installed yet so about the feedback it's just the feedback hub but uh, we're not interested in feedback help what is the about options so nope all right so there is option get started anyway so you see this is how you know download and install and then your user can go and um, start using that product if this video helped you please like share comment subscribe and have a good night